Hi guys, my name is Allison and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos on makeup, skincare, cooking vlogs, sometimes videos for international students, and just lifestyle videos. So if that is something that you're into, make sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll actually get notified. As for today's videos, it's going to be about first impression, makeup, and skincare. So your girl splurge a little bit during the Sephora VIB sale, but that's only because I've been wanting these products for a very long time and I've just been saving up you know so I'm really really glad that I'm making this video because I want to show you guys my first impression so let's just jump right into it so for the first item I got it is a skincare product it is this glow recipe avocado ceramide redness relief serum I decided to get this because my face gets a little bit red around here on my cheeks and I heard good reviews about it I mean I did use the plum plum hyaluronic serum of this brand and I really loved it so might as well try it right so I'm gonna use two plumps so the main ingredients of this serum is basically avocado butter <laughs> and extract which is supposed to intensively soothe and nourish skin it applies really good it is really soothing to me right now and it smells slightly of avocado which i don't mind so it also contains ceramides and elotonin and it's supposed to be soothing and calming for your skin so for the next product i got it is this paula's choice two percent bha exfoliant i got this because it is my all-time holy grail i've been using it for a little bit over a year now because Sarah Chung recommended it on her YouTube channel and I absolutely love her so I tried it out and it is my all-time favorite so if you have blackheads or if you want to exfoliate your skin use this and it will make your skin like a baby's bottom so for the next product I got it is this Sephora favorite sparkly clean set I got this for 30 something dollars and it's a steal because it's supposed to be worth like around $90 it comes with three full-size products this one this one and this one it's full size and the rest are you know minis so it looks like this first i'm going to try out this tatcha the liquid silk canvas i heard a lot of good things about this as well and if you know tatcha tatcha is super duper expensive so this is supposed to prime your face i'll just mainly focus right here the center of my face it smells kind of like herbally it's kind of cooling in a sense i don't know it, it applies really nice and it is silky so it does live up to this name up next i'm going to use this say e i don't know i don't know how to pronounce this somebody let me know how i can pronounce it so what this is is it is a glowy super gel lightweight dewy highlighter and this is in the shade star glow it smells slightly florally you know what i actually think like if you wear light makeup like with a skin tint and something like that it's going to look beautiful i think i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes straight because i suck at eye makeup so i'm going to use like a tape just so you know i do my eyeshadow better So I also got an eyeshadow palette. It is this Makeup by Mario Glam Eyeshadow Quad. I'm not really sure if the colors here describe rosy, only because there's a lot of purples. But I do like the colors in here, which is the reason why I got it. And I'm going to use this color right here, this brownish shade. This is kind of like a metallic palette all three kind of are and it's really soft and it blends super super well and i really like that but i don't think i'm going to use these shades only because um i'm kind of too scared of the colors for now but i do want to try topping with this milk color chalk um i don't know is it like a highlighter i think it's multi-use and it's in the color hopscotch so it looks like this Uh, and I'm gonna use this Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. Look at this packaging. Oh my god, she is so beautiful. And I'm using the shade in 5 Warm. It's supposed to be long-lasting, weightless foundation. I'm just gonna place them right there. It's a little bit yellow. Maybe I'm supposed to be neutral. You know what? Just to make everything easier, I'm going to spray my face with this Airbrush Setting Spray, also by Charlotte Tilbury. Please. 
blend so far i think i do like the finish it just sets really quick so if you are getting this apply it in sections and use a setting spray to help you blend for the next product i am using this kosas super creamy and brightening concealer i am so excited for this product i've been eyeing for months it's supposed to really brighten your eyes and not crease and it's supposed to be really creamy i got this in the shade for neutral i'm just going to apply under my eyes and right here just where i you know have a bit of blemishes judging my how it is blending it gives a medium coverage and i feel like it could be buildable but it blends super easy it is really creamy <laughs> i really like the look of it i'll be back so I contoured and I put um, some powder on and I also did my brows but right now I kind of look dead so I'm going to use this Tower 28 lip balm going on it is really moisturizing and it's slightly tacky but honestly i don't really mind i think it looks good and the next product i got is this merit blush balm cream blush in cheeky it's this very mauvey purpley tone i will swatch it for you okay it's very balmy and i'm pretty sure you can use this on your eyelid and your lip i'm not sure if i should try this on my makeup because i already have powder and if i use this then it's going to look very cakey oh my gosh guys i totally forgot to use this this is a rare beauty concealer brush and i totally forgot to show it to you guys but you know maybe i'll show you my next video so stay tuned Last but not least is this Ilia Foolish Volumizing Mascara. It's a mini size. It's supposed to be very volumizing. This bristle is actually quite big. With mascara and without mascara. I think it looks pretty good, actually. So this is the final look. What do you think? What are your favorite products? If you have tried it, what is your experience? Because I would love to know what you think about them as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!